I'm Xanderwood. I make indie games and tutorials on game development. I also play your indie games every week on my channel. Make sure you subscribe and click that bell icon so you never miss a video. Hey guys, welcome back to another Construct 3 tutorial. In this episode, I'm going to show you how to avoid enemies clumping together when moving towards the player. And before we continue with the video, just a massive thank you and a shout out to my wonderful Patreon and YouTube channel members, Fuzel CC, Amari Lewis, Rob, Matt, Zan, Julian Cruz, Seth Grobel, and Mark Games, Fan Van, Mood for Sal, Retro Galaxy, Martin K, Olivier Bernier, Twilight Alex Anderson, Lighting Cat, Gerald Dumont, and Yanni Boy. For more information about what's on offer on the Patreon, there's a link in the description. All I've got on the screen here is just a box, which I've added the glow effect to, just for visual look. It doesn't really serve any purpose. I've got a player character and I've got four enemies. The player character has the eight directional movement on it, and the enemies have move to and custom, and we're also gonna to need to give them line of sight. So go back to the event sheet, we're gonna add an event. We're gonna say enemies, and we're gonna say has a line of sight to object, and that object is going to be the player, which they will have now all the time because there's no obstacles in this room. If they've got line of sight to the player, we're now going to just trigger the move to behavior. We're just going to say move to object. That object is going to be the player character and they're going to move direct. So now at all times, they're going to move to wherever the player is. And you can see they've all clumped over each other. And it looks now like we only have one object, which is no good. So let's go back to the event sheet. Add an event. We're going to say enemies. And we're going to say is overlapping another object. And that object is going to be enemies. So if they're overlapping each other, then we're going to go enemies. And we're going to go down to our custom behavior. And we're going to say push out solid. And we're going to say nearest angle. So that means that if they overlap, they're going to push out at the nearest angle. Now it says push out solid, which means we need to go back to behaviors. And we need to add a solid behavior. Now, no matter where they go, they're not going to overlap each other. Now, the only thing is, because they're all solids, they're all going to act as they're all going to act as barriers. So they're not going to be able to see the player if the player is behind one of them, which is why some of them are stopping every now and again. Which might be what you want, but if you want them to be able to see through each other, so click on the enemies on the right hand side in the objects folder. Come over to where it says line of sight in the properties and change solids to custom. Now, no matter where you are, they'll be able to see through you because we haven't assigned any barriers. So I'll change the speed down to 50 and that is a lot better. Now we have the speed on them. They are not going to overlap each other. They are just going to chase me down. And if they start clumping together, they will stay away and not overlap as they give chase. 